how are we doing everyone this is just a quick build guide for probably one of the more underrated weapons of the new scenario because it's not on a on the wish machine as a, a special thing it's just available to buy but it's the conflicting memory the mg4 so this is a shrapnel machine gun um and it can, it can do some really serious numbers um i actually think this is better than the last valor um, just because of the the rate of fire, the mag size, just dealing continuous, continuous damage. So if we look at the description, so trigger shrapnel for every 12 hits, for every 40 magazine capacity, parts hit by shrapnel plus one. So the bigger your mag, the more hits you're going to get. Uh, the next one says for every hundred mag magaz bleh, for every hundred magazine capacity over four shrapnel damage plus 15 percent. That is wrong. That is just wrong. Um, it must have been a change in translation or something, but that's not actually how it works. Uh, and then you've got mag capacity plus eight. So I can't remember exactly how it works. Someone did show me, but I think it's every uh, is it every 40 over base, you get 15% damage or something like that. It's yeah, it's not it's not what it says it is. So ignore that. Um, so we're going to be using obviously the conflicted memories. Secondary is going to be the bingo. You could use the the pistol that gives bullseye if you want. I just like using the bingo, and it's going to be the long axe. So for armor, our key piece is going to be cage helmet. So this is shrapnel trigger count plus one. So that basically means instead of having to hit twelve times. It, you only have to hit six because every one will trigger it twice and then we're going four piece lone wolf and one piece bastille you can choose whatever you want bastille just gives you an extra 10 when you're above 70 percent health if you prefer a faster reload or something like that go for it go for it so let's look at the mods so here we're going to shatter them all so the more part the shrapnel hit the higher the shrapnel damage each part plus 15 percent up to 45 percent so obviously because this weapon wants to hit lots of shrapnel parts this is perfect um so your key stats are going to be obviously you want crit damage and then try and get weapon damage damage against great ones would be great um, accessories for it. I'm just using what I have. Uh, so I've got the hammer compensator, the, the tack hollow side, the infrared indicator, large LMG, LMG drum mag. That one is important because you want as big a mag as you can get. The more mag you have, the more shrapnel parts you get. So this is just going to up the stability. You don't really need accuracy. Just the stability is all you need because you're just going to be you're just going to be raining so many bullet, bullets in their direction. That's that's it. Uh, so the secondary the bingo, we're just going with the bullseye. So the bullseye adds vulnerability plus eight percent, just because you know it's an extra. It's free. It's free damage. It's free eight percent damage. So why wouldn't you? And then with the long axe, it doesn't really matter because you're never going to use it damage. You're just using it for its ability. So the heavy attack activates fortress warfare. That's all you can do. You don't have to hit with it. If you do hit with it, great, you get an extra crit rate. But if not, you get the Fortress Warfare, which is important. So onto the armor mods. So on the Cage Helmet, we're going with Momentum Up Violent. This is just such a good mod for so many things. So you're getting plus 10% fire rate for the first half of your mag. And the last half of your mag, you're getting 30% damage. And considering the mag size is so large in this... That's a lot of bullets doing an extra 30% damage. Uh, obviously, you've got crit damage as your main focus. You obviously want weapon damage. On a few of your mods, you do want mag capacity up. Just to... So the magic number for this is you want to get the mag to 161 or above. Once you hit 161, then you're getting your, your max bonuses. So as long as you can get to 161, that's what's important. There we go, Lone Wolf Mask. So on the mask, we are going targeted strike, hitting marked targets, gives you crit rate plus 10, crit damage plus 25. Very nice. Um, again, crit damage on targets with bullseye is a really nice effect. If you can't get that, just crit damage up. 
Again, really you want weapon damage as well, but I haven't got that on this mod. All your mods you want weapon damage on, let's face it. Uh, for the top, we're just going with the Enduring Shield. When out of combat, gain one stack of safe haven. Uh, this is purely for the crit damage plus 12. If you want, you could put on uh, one of the blue crit damage ones. But I don't have any, but yeah. This is giving me plus 12 crit damage, and it's giving me the mag capacity, which is nice. On the pants, we're looking at dead shot violent. So each crit hit by a non-melee weapon grants plus 5% crit damage, up to 45%. Right, just remove the next reload. You're not reloading very much, so you're going to have a lot of that. <laughs> uh, again, your main attribute, you want crit damage, you want weapon damage, you want damage against bosses. And for the gloves, we are using crit amplifier, so that gives us a plus 10 crit rate, plus 15 crit damage. Uh, again, main attribute, crit damage bonus. You want crit damage, you want weapon damage, you want damage against great ones. Mag capacity if you can. And then for the shoes, covered advance, it's always covered advance. Covered advance is just so good. Crit damage, and then you want weapon damage. So this isn't optimal. This is far from optimal. I need a lot more mod grinding to get the mods with like crit damage plus weapon damage. Like if you have the crit damage plus weapon damage, you're gonna do insane amounts. Crazy, crazy stuff. So that is that. So let's have a look at the Cradle. So with the Cradle, we're going anti-void, um, just damage plus 15% when using rifles, shots, or heavies. Uh, attack combo, weapon damage plus 25 four seconds after switching or reloading. Deviation master gives you damage against the bosses. Deadly combo, after triggering bullet effect, bounce or shrapnel. Bullet effect plus 25%. That's pretty much always going to be up. Uh, tracking bullet dealing weak spot damage grants 2.5% shrapnel damage. Uh, bounty hunter hitting mark targets bonus. Uh, lone walker, if you're alone, choose the team one if you're in a team, doesn't really matter. Uh, and fortress link, fortress warfare range plus 50% and an additional boost of plus 5% after activating fortress warfare. So that means when you're doing your hard hit with your axe, as well as getting your normal Fortress Warfare, you're going to get an extra 5% boost on that. So that's nice. So that's pretty much it. Um, other than food, I don't normally put food buffs in videos because I don't like... I, I like just doing base damage, but with Shrapnel, it is so easy to make the food buff. All you have to make is... And I can't make it because I've made it all the weapons I can, but all you need is... Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Here it is, canned meat. So all you need is two aluminium, some salt, and some meat. And you're going to get 20% shrapnel damage. It's, the, it's so easy to make that I might as well put it in the video, because every single person I can guarantee is going to be able to make that. So we've got that active at the moment. So what you want to do, really... Rotation kind of goes, big hit, get the dogs out, three times of the bingo, and then unload. And you can see it racks up so much damage, it triggers so many parts. I mean, look, we're at nearly 50k damage, and this is a really unoptimized build. Like, this is really unoptimized. Like, the majority of my mods doesn't have plus weapons damage. If I had plus five weapon damage on like each of my mods, that'd be a crazy amount. Anyway, so that's just base damage numbers. Obviously, against a dummy, it does dummy things. It doesn't bite back or anything like that. But yeah, that is that is the build um, to take into whatever scenario you're going to do next. So we're just coming to the end of uh, our first wave of winter. We're coming in settlement phase in eight hours. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to go back to another way of winter or go back to Manibus. Let me know what you're doing. What what scenarios are you enjoying? What do you want to do? Um, and until then, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for more Great Once Human content. I'm going to start doing more indie content as well. So if you're into indie games, hang around.
Anyway, that is all for today. I will see you all very soon. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>